Today, we're going to play some drum fill exercises that are based on two basic rhythms that are made from using part of a group of 16th notes. Hence the name, 16th note partials. We'll be removing some notes from our one eanda count and trying to keep the pulse the same to create handy phrases that we can use to great effect on the drum kit. Let's start with playing a bar of 16th notes on the snare and counting 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. Exercise 1 1, 2, 3, 4 OK, now I'm going to remove every fourth note in the sequence so that we no longer have the A ah being played. There are a couple of ways of writing this and for now I'm going to use two sixteenth notes joined to an eighth note. This is probably the most common way you'll see this rhythm. Remember, we're just playing one E and, two E and, three E and, four E and. You won't be playing on the A ah anymore. It should come out sounding like butterfly, 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 butterfly. From a sticking point of view, we'll play lead hand, non-lead hand, lead hand. So for me, that's right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right. Exercise two. One, two, three, four. Okay, now let's add a quarter note bass drum. That's going to be our one, two, three, four. Exercise three. One, two, three, four. Once you've got the hang of this rhythm with the bass drum, we can move it around the kit a little bit. Here's a few more exercises. Exercise 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Exercise 5 1, 2, 3, 4 Exercise 6 One, two, three, four. Practice all of these exercises many times. Start off by aiming for four good repetitions. Then aim for 8 repetitions, 16, 32, etc. until you've mastered all the different motions. Now it's time to move on to the second of our partial rhythms. It's worth reminding ourselves 
that we're just playing part of a group of 16th notes. This time, I'm going to remove every second note in our sequence of notes, so this time we'll be missing the E of every group of four notes. I'm writing this using an eighth note joined to sixteenth notes. Remember now, it's just one, and a, two, and a, three, and a, four, and a. We won't be playing the E anymore. It should come out sounding like grasshopper, 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 grasshopper. The sticking for this rhythm for now should be lead hand, lead hand, non-lead hand. That's right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left for me as a right-handed player. Exercise 7. One, two, three, four. Okay, now let's add a quarter note bass drum. Exercise eight. One, two, three, four. When you're comfortable playing this rhythm over a quarter note pulse, it's time to move it around the kit a little bit. Exercise nine. One, two, three, four. Exercise 10. One, two, three, four. Exercise 11. One, two, three, four. These rhythms are crucial building blocks for creating new grooves, fills and solo ideas, so practice them many times. We'll certainly be seeing more of these rhythms as we progress through future lessons, and they'll be the key to unlocking some interesting musical ideas. If you would like further studies of this kind, how about mixing one and a with one and to get something that sounds like grasshopper butterfly? Three, four. Or the other way around, butterfly grasshopper. Three, four. Or why not create a groove with these rhythms on the hi hat, ride, or toms? Three, four. Good luck.
and bye for now.